Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I am Karen Lutz, CEO, founder, spiritual and transformational mindset, life and book coach at On The Go Talent. I'm so glad that you are here with me on this beautiful, beautiful day. Today I wanted to talk about Universal Law again, the law of allowing. This really touched me today. Um, you know, yesterday I was pondering about topics I wanted to do a live on. And this is one of those things. And I was like, oh, this is connected. So I'll just um, reiterate this law. So here's the saying that, that really stuck out um, and resonated with me. Anything that is meant for you will never miss you. And that's really, really hard because it all goes back to self and what you want and what you value in life, okay? And then we're like playing the game of chess. And it's so difficult sometimes, number one, to control anything that is outside of yourself, okay? And to really um, just let go and, uh, and allow things to happen. So it's really like playing that game of chess and moving the chess pieces according to what you truly want and true to your purpose. And it's just one of those things that I think of Laura Branigan, right? She passed. Um, it's like my self control. Take myself. You lose your self control. You know that song. So, but listen to that. That's such an empowering song. I might use that somewhere. I'm going to write that down, actually. Um, but anyway, it's it's that concept where you try so hard. Oh, here's another Whitney Houston song coming through. It's like you try so hard to make sure everything goes right. You only wind up with a mess. <laughs> okay? Um, love will save the day. I'm writing this all down because I know I'll use this. You know, guys, like how musical and everything I am. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to hop on here and tell you that I know that I have like held myself back from my true purpose, which I'm sitting in right now and I'm able to do so freely. Like I would never years ago. This is the truth. I would never be able to sit here and speak my truth and there is a little yorkie across the street from me um i miss my toto back home so funny in there and it's yeah anyway you know that adhd so fixing yourself and then blocking okay the negative energy to receive your blessings so that's what you really want to do like we're dealing with these situations and I can say this, like, um, I'm not placing myself as an expert in this, but like Joe and I've been married five years and like, we didn't realize all these things that we really should have talked about. We just knew that we loved each other and like, that was it. So these things that we're going back to are like difficult because it's like dynamics of like, and that's where you get in trouble because I see now that I reflect back and I share more and more and more about my truth and Joe is reflecting on this, but then he's in the evaluation. Don't evaluate. They say don't evaluate the situation. Just respect the truth. Look at the first cause and try to understand. It goes back to what I said yesterday. Seek first to understand then to be understood. So tell the facts tell it like it is the actions the place the people all that stuff first first then it's not for you to fix somebody else's life it is for them so if somebody is kind enough to share their truth with you please be respectful one of the things i'm learning now is not to like give advice per se which is so hard think about that just sometimes people just need someone to listen to them and someone that they can trust someone that they know is not going to judge them and thank you so much for being here I see you guys that is the most difficult part 
in a relationship, like the dynamics kind of really get tested. Um, it's a true test because you're trying to make balance. And within that balance of the relationship, partnership, marriage, um, it's like tug of war at times. But isn't it great when you're in a relationship, I'm hoping I'm speaking to people who are, that when you're both in your higher self and your energy is just like on fire, that is where you want to head. We want to ascend and head up here. Unlearning things in my life is we would torture ourselves. We would be, oh, the sins and this and that. And then you live there and then you're so depressed for so long, wondering why you're there. Because you have to deal with it. Like that was one of my issues was I would hold myself prisoner and hold on to these things and keep blaming myself and be in a panic and have anxiety and not be able to just face it, deal with it in the ways that I needed to deal with it. Whether it was reaching out to the person, writing a letter, creating a song. Okay. You see where I'm headed with all of this. Okay. So I know looking back and that's what I was saying yesterday about where my root, um, I had to look at this now. I, I refer to the chakras now. It's, it's incredible. Um, the anger, which is the blue, um, that's where my creative spark really came from. Cause like, I felt like I was proving stuff over and over and over and drilling and like, I knew what I was trying to create, but if those around me didn't understand it, like I would get upset and I'm like, you can't because you are not telling people my communication was broken at points, not directly telling them exactly how you feel like, and I'm still working on that. Like, I'm always so cautious that like, I don't want to hurt the people around me in that, but you know what? Like it's, it's, it has to be done live your truth, speak your emotions, um, and just be in the now. So that's really why I wanted to come on here today. Um, but yeah, anything that is meant for you will not miss you. And what are you putting out into the universe? Are you putting out the truth? Are you putting out good energy, enthusiasm, love? And that's what I'm dealing with now. Like I'm forced to go back and correct the things like how I am so blessed that I'm able to do this because like I said, like I'll look at it from one perspective and I'm like, okay, all the anger, all the fear, all the projection in like from my perspective of what really happened. And then when I'm reaching out, I'm reaching out in love because I realize that if you reach out in anger in a bang, and all that kind of stuff, like that's where you're going to get back 10 times. And I don't want that. I've had enough. Believe me, trust me on that. I've had enough of that negative energy come swooshing past me in my life. And I don't want it. I just want to show love. That is my true purpose. Karen is love and performing arts entertainment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of anything that is meant for you will never miss you. And I'm so excited because you get to create your future. You are living your truth, hopefully. And if you aren't, I'm here to help you uncover and unblock why you aren't, why you aren't happy. Um, we hold on, you know, and it's so crazy. Life is really so, so crazy because we have people that we are so close to and they're here for a short time and then they leave us and then we're left here to deal with it. But what I'm discovering is like, I would hoard these emotions and hold on and hold on. And then you're the victim and then move past that. Like, don't you guys think that people who have moved and passed on would want us to be happy? I guarantee like when you, when you cross over, like only love comes through and that's what I'm really learning. They only want to show us the good and the love, you know, and, and not have us, hold on to those negative emotions and that's what we want to create when we pass all we have is here and now guys and the time so enjoy it while it lasts and carry on that person's legacy okay even if there were rotten things that happen address them 
But like turning it to something funny, that's what I've learned. Like things that really like were messed up in my life. Like I'm kind of like turning that into a humorous situation in a way um, to bring light around it because I don't want that in my soul anymore. So have a wonderful day. I love you guys. God bless.